Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be attempting to utilize our papers from the Honeybee Shop Bait Box, which you could use any kind of card sock or scrapbook paper. Um, we're gonna try to use these to cover up some of these traveler's notebook inserts that I have. And this one is from Dollar Tree and while the tacos are cute, they just don't really go with the aesthetic of the, the whole rest of the planner. So I wanted to try to cover that up. This is very cute, but I'm not using it as a planner. So it kind of bothers me. This is playing my life. So we are going to attempt to cover this as well. And then this is very cute. This is from Lights Planner Action. It is a monthly insert that I use in my video game theme B60N to track game releases. However, I thought it might be fun to kind of change it up with a cover. So we're we're gonna try it. So I was inspired by Rochelle from Scrap Craftastic. If you are not subbed to her channel, you need to go. I will put a link in the description to her channel. Um, and she did this where she did something and she used sticker paper to cover one of her notebooks. And then she had the design on the other side and she had laminated it and everything. Um, so that's not what we're gonna be doing, but I am gonna try that in the future. But I wanted to go ahead and use up some of these papers because number one they're super freaking cute and i need to use them they're the perfect size and yeah so i just need to figure out which ones i want to use all right so here's what i'm thinking so this i would like to eventually use for a memory keeping insert i'm still working on my memory keeping insert currently uh so i don't need and i really like the cover of that so i don't need to change it but this will be for the future I actually had started using this in the video game theme B60N, which if you want to know more about that, I'll put the link in the description um, and also something in the cards. I have a whole video game theme traveler's notebook, which is right here next to me. But I originally had this in there and I was gonna track game releases with it. But then I saw this from Lights Planner Action with the super cute monthly inserts. And I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. So this I kind of just put on my shelf and decided I'll use it later when I need another insert. So I think for this one, since this will be used for memory keeping, I like either this, although to me, this is more like a journaling type of cover. I'm kind of thinking one of the Disney ones because I do, you know, hope to eventually get back to Disney World with my family. And I think it would be cool to have a Disney paper on the memory keeping insert. So, I feel like this is too cute to, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with this side. So what we're gonna do, set all these aside. We're gonna work on this one. And we are going to measure this puppy out. So we're gonna open this up. And we will see where we need to cut it. So I'm going to butt it right up to the corner here. And I'm just going to take here, this is fitting. I'm just going to take a pen and make a mark. Now I am going to go slightly over. So it should be like right here and right here. I would like to go slightly over. I would rather have more than not enough. That's just so satisfying. I like doing it. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna do that. And then we're gonna cut here. All right, and so I'm gonna lay this out and see if we did a good job. Okay, so you really just have to make sure you stretch out the paper and really press on the binding there. And then I'm gonna go here to the center and then I'm gonna grab one of my clips from Dollar General and <laughs> I'm going to clip the front to kind of hold this in place and then I'm gonna take a look here 
on the back and I'm going to fold it over, see if that's going to be enough paper to cover. I think it will. I might need to slide it just a hair. So I'm going to start with my glue stick. I do have a permanent tape runner, but I'm going to start with the glue stick because it gives me a little more like room to, you know, time to like work with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the glue stick here on the inside back cover. And I'm going to lift up and make sure I get it underneath the spine here of the notebook. And then I'm going to grab this, pull it as tight as I can, and remove this. Really press that down. All right, now we're going to take a look at our front. still have room to adjust it because we haven't glued the front down. Now you can see there's a little bit of excess here, but we're going to cut that off afterward. Again, you'd always rather have too much than too little. And now what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to fold this over and use the glue stick. I really like this glue stick. It has worked well for me for several projects. This is the Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength glue stick. I got this at Walmart and I really like it. It's uh, worked out really well. And then what I'm gonna do just to reinforce the spine because I feel like that from opening and closing it, that's where it's gonna try to lift. I am gonna use some of this permanent tape runner just to really make sure the spine is secure. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull 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 press. Oh, it's so cute. So you absolutely can um, you know, laminate your paper before if you want that laminated effect. I did not want that for this particular one. However, I do have some laminated covers. Please hold. So as you can see, I do have some laminated covers here in my, my Chemical Romance themed B6 Traveler's Notebook. And I use the same type of process. She's, she's loud. She's a little loud because of the way this, this paper is. Um, but yeah, these are all laminated. That was just the effect I wanted for this particular project. So these are all laminated. So that is just kind of to give you an idea of what it would look like if you laminated your cover. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. But I will also put this in the cards and in the description. I have a whole playlist on how I made this, this puppy. But for this one, I just wanted to use the paper and I think it's so cute. Now what we need to do is cut off, carefully cut off the excess. I'm gonna start by just doing the top here. I'm just going to open this up. Make sure it's on there. Good. Clip the side here and then I'm just going to go down this way to continue to get the rest of that excess paper off. All right, it looks good to me. Um, super happy with this result. I think it's super cute. It seems to be on there very well. Yeah, the only thing I need to do is take this page out. See if I can do that without making too much of a mess. Perfect, now I have a brand new insert. So once my 
memory keeping insert is full in my catch-all traveler's notebook i will put this in there i think this is so cute this paper was from the march i believe 2021 honeybee shop bay box it was disney themed and super cute my personal favorite part of this whole pattern is chip and the green army man I, I love this right here but yeah this is perfect so what i'm gonna do is first of all i'm gonna clean up a little bit of my mess all right now we are going to cover this which is just going to serve as one of my brain dump journaling inserts for when my current one is filled this one has a thicker spine so I need to make sure that I don't cut too much paper off so that there's not enough to cover the whole thing because you need more paper to wrap around this thicker spine. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be like very generous. First of all, it needs to go this way. So I'm gonna line it up right here in the corner. And instead of making my line right here, I'm gonna really like extend it over again i would just so much rather have um more paper than not enough to cover it all right moment of truth y'all all right i think we're gonna be okay we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna take the glue stick Okay, after like 15 minutes of me off camera trimming <laughs> the edges and getting them uh, not perfect but decent here we are and I think this came out really cute I love this pattern paper I think this is perfect for a little brain dump journaling insert I think it's super cute I love it so now we have we got this layer with the acetate and we have this and just to make sure that you know the glue holds and everything I'm going to leave this clipped overnight just make sure everything kind of stays together so I kind of don't want to cover this entire design I think it's really cute and it's got lights player action on it I kind of just want to put this pretty piece of acetate over it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yes. All right, let's put this back in here and see how she looks. First, we slap this in. So pretty. Then find the center of the book. Slap it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Did I put the tab in the right spot? Oh, it's like way too far over. It needs to be like here ish. All right, I think that is super pretty so using a piece of acetate or vellum just to kind of have something to layer over it's just it just adds character i really like it all right y'all so we accomplished what i wanted to do today which was cover up this notebook and i love how this came out and again these are papers from honeybee shop you can use any kind of cardstock, any paper that you find. You know, Michael sells scrapbook paper, which you could use. Um, you could laminate, like I said, and showed in the MCR B6TN. You can also laminate a cover and put it on. I do have a video on how to do that if you're interested. Um, yeah, but I love how these came out. Now I'm like, oh, do I really have to wait <laughs> to put this in my, in my traveler's notebook? Uh, yeah, and this is for my brain dump journaling insert, which I'm still working on. I need to be using it more. 
this is a blank one for when that one fills up. Whenever I find these notebooks at Dollar Tree, which at least in my local Dollar Tree, these size notebooks, which are approximately five by seven, these are a little bit smaller. So it's four and a half by six and a half instead of five by seven. But that's fine because it fits right into my traveler's notebook cover. So this is where it will go. So my brain dump journaling insert is right here. And this one actually is from Dollar Tree and I didn't want to cover it up because it's so pretty. I love it. So that will go in there once that is finished. So I have a little, a little shelf that I'm going to put these on and anxiously await when I can use them. Hopefully that will motivate me to actually journal in my journaling insert because I've been really bad about that lately. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, again, like I was saying, the these notebooks I found at Dollar Tree like up by the checkout and I it's really hit or miss. But particularly around back to school time, I found a lot of them and I had to like get on the floor and dig, <laughs> dig through them. Um, but yeah, they, you can find this, again, it's not exactly B6 size, but it's close enough. And if you have a B6 traveler's notebook cover, um, they will, they will work just fine in that. Um, and this is from Michael's and it's the same kind of deal. It's a little bit smaller, you can see, but that works. And then this one is perfect. I wish I bought another one. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. That means a lot to me, helps the channel a lot. Um, thank you all for 200 subs, by the way. It's freaking awesome. Past 200. I feel like we just had the 150 subscriber giveaway. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in and for checking me out. Please share this video with anybody who you feel might benefit from it or you know get inspired by it that's the ultimate goal uh, is for me to inspire you guys to create and just sit down and have fun and do some arts and crafts it's good for the soul it's good for your mental health and yeah so thanks so much for watching again be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell uh, to be notified every time i upload so you never miss an upload i'm so happy with these <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Oh, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, check out my Patreon. All that stuff is down in the description box, as well as the link to my podcast, Pixels and Planners. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!